devagar. Vou pisar devagarinho na folha do jurema. Oi, pisa, pisa, pisa. Oi, pisa devagar. Vou pisar devagarinho na folha do jurema. Step, step with care in the leaves of jurema tree. This is uh, indigenous music, and uh, that music has been uh, teaching me a lot uh, how to be uh, a leader, how to be a coordinator, how to be a teacher, how to be a human being. Uh, I will talk about my personal process. I beginning to work with arts education when I was a young people. And I was very interesting about the methodology. How can we build in coordinators? How can we create innovative teachers? And for me, it was a big challenge. I born in a family. Uh, my father is a fisherman. He is a literacy man, uh, but a special man, really special. My mother is, uh, she was a teacher, but in my family, I didn't learn self-confidence. And through this process, through arts education, then the last 50 years, I was thinking about how it's important to have self-confidence to create new process to have the courage to change our world. And uh, I begin to think, what is the best way to create self-confidence? We stay so long time inside our schools as a students. And uh, we have a few moments which we're learning to have self-confidence, which we're learning to be cooperative, and that this is something which we need to learn in some ways. We need to know how to share. We need to know how to dialogue. For me, in all these years, one of the big challenge is to dialogue. I think it's a simple word, but it's a very complex process. And people sometimes have a lot of difficulty to hear. They can talk. They can scream about their pen. They can talk about their ideas. But when we have another person beside us and we need to dialogue, to cooperate, to build, it, to change the world together because alone is not possible, we confront this challenge. And what I could see through the arts education is how can art create spaces of confidence? And through these spaces of self of confidence, we can take risks. We can imagine. We can open our imagination. And open our imagination can make us, can, can give us the possibility for us to imagine a different world. And again, like Sometimes we think it's so simple to imagine it, but it's not so simple. Because we, we have fear. And how can we take risks when we feel fear? And when we have this space of experimentations, we can be confident, myself and with the other people. This can come up. And the people have the opportunity to experiment, to create, to take risks, to make mistakes, to experiment again, and create new worlds. And this process cultivates internal self-confidence, because you don't only make a piece of art, you create a piece of art inside yourself. And I think this is, is, is very important for you to stand in front of others, for you 
to invite others to collaborate with you. And for me, it's very special inside the classroom because the teacher in some ways is dealing with a stage. He needs to be in some ways a good actor. He needs to be the self-confidence to dialogue with everybody in the classroom. He needs to have the self-confidence to take risks and not use your voice as authoritarian or behind himself, from, uh, uh, hide himself uh, on the books or on the tables, but expose yourself. So for me, it's a big question. I continue to experiment and I also invite you also to experiment together and uh, to advocate how important is arts education inside our schools.